Hey guys, Crown Top Kennels here. Been away for a while, but I thought I'd do a little update on um, where the kennels are and what we're up to with our dogs. So yeah, let's take a walk. Caesar, that's the guard dog. He's got a bit of a sore foot at the moment. He had a little run in with some dogs down the road and one of them twisted his foot. It's fine. Cease, you gonna say hi? Cease, it's a big drink. Say hi, boy. Cease, look at the camera. Oh, hopping along, yeah. Yeah, look. Say hi. There you go. Hi. Yeah, he said hi. Yeah, as I said, he's got a sore foot. Must have twisted his ankle or pulled a ligament or something like that. But he's recovering well. Yeah. All right. So yeah, as I said, been a little bit quiet with the kennels lately, but um. Been doing a little bit of work here and there. The dogs are all good though. Just had a litter of puppies. We only had three, three puppies. But, um, three, three girls, but they're doing really well. So that's good. I'm gonna show you a little video of them later. All right, so here's the girls. Hey Fern. So we have got Fern. Where's Dala? Dala. There's Big Chili. Conan, oh Charlie, alright, let's get for a walk. Come on, no, no, we're coming in, we're coming in, we're coming in. Come in. I've just got this rubber matting down here. I've still got to do all my flooring and stuff. This rub rubber matting's down at the moment, it just helps keep it clean. Somewhere when I wash them and stuff like that, there. It's all dirt at the moment along here, but the, the plans are going to be uh, to grass the strip at the front here. I'll get around to that there, um, well, hopefully as soon as I can. Um, what have we got over here? It's got a little um, sink station set up, this little area. Uh, shed full of dog food, bits and pieces, collars, all that kind of stuff. All right, so here we go here, we've got the first cage set up here. Who's in there? Who's, it? Who's that? Is that you, Chili? There's Chili in there. So I've still got the same deckings I had. Um, at the last setup, uh, you got the, the water bowls, food bowl, the shingle strip in, in between the two cages. Uh, so, as you can see next door, there, there's a couple of nuggets there I haven't picked up yet, but that's the whole idea. What it does is uh, when the dogs do their business in there, obviously, the um, the weeds will just uh, seep into the water and into the ground, stones and whatnot. Any stools like that there, what happens is they bind in the little stones and stuff and it's really easy to rake them up and move them on, scoop them up and put them in the uh, disposable bags and stuff like that there. You've got a couple of inches of shingle in there, just enough to get a good, you know, let all the fluids and stuff uh, wash away and uh, seep into the ground and whatnot. Uh, the decking keeps them dry, keeps them off the ground <clears throat> and whatnot. Let's put a little bit of show you the artwork. Obviously bulldogs, bulldogs everywhere. Yeah, you got the British flag, you got the American flag for the American Pit Bull Terriers, and we're in Australia from New Zealand and more bulldogs. Uh, dogs got their jackets at night time. Does get chilly overnight. Put a jacket on them for the night time. Gil's having a little play there. That's their rope. They like to have a play on. They play well together. Get in each other's faces and all that there, but... Another kennel. Got two kennels in this one. Two bitches sleep in here. Same thing, water bowl food bowls, everything's off the ground, so you can hose easy, keeps everything tidy. Uh, still running the misters through the middle for the hot days, just turn the misters on and miss out the whole cage. Uh, I do have a iron roof, tin roof on here, I only had tarp last time, but so that's a good up, upgrade, really does keep the uh, dogs dry and um, protect, protection from uh, a lot of falling branches, things like that there, but uh, just good cover, good shade. Uh, it's not going to break down like oh, I had tarp on the last one, but yeah. Hey girls, here, here, here it is. 
Yeah, this. You want me to get it? There we go. There we go. Oh, you bitches. Oh, you bitches. Don't pull too hard. Jeez. Settle it down. Stop showing off for the camera. Right, 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 right. Here. These go. Used to it. Shaking me up. I can't stand still. Sees. So, yeah, kennel number three, same setup. And cage number four, same setup. It's all the same setup. Wood floors, water bowls. Same as last time, got the um, auto filling water bowls. There's a little float under there, keeps it at a lev uh, water level and maintained at a certain. Um, depth all the time as soon as they start drinking out of it it just fills back up with the float same thing New Zealand with the Bulldogs ah, got a little um, spear kennels and stuff all there Need to tidy this area up obviously uh, on this end I do have the fan I've got an industrial fan hanging off the side of the cage there and um, on the hot days I also turn the fan on and what it does is it blows a good good channel of air down right down through the cages and puts a good um breeze through there strong breeze through there dogs hanging out on the um decks and whatnot got the misters going uh and got the got the um fan blowing hard down down the run so that uh seems to be doing the trick really well for them keeping the temperatures down well for them during the hot months and stuff we're in the middle of winter here at the moment but we still get really good days you know 20 25 degrees plus so yeah, uh, coming into the yard area. Just been trying to clean this area up. This was all a, it was all um, it was a mess. It was just a mess all out here. Cleaned it up. So obviously, there's dogs come out and just do their business and all that there. Got it fenced off along here and along here. So this is the main area where they come out and do their business and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's about it really. Uh, so you can see the whole setup from there. So that's the whole setup there. And what I do have is I have a 40 foot container. Now the idea of the 40 foot container is to convert it into a uh, storage sheds and stuff like that there. I have already converted the end. If you can see down that far end there's a window put in and I've got these big sliding doors ready to go in pretty much where they are. And what I'm going to do is turn it into a dog um, whelping area and stuff so I can have my bitches in, so in enclosed area while they're whelping and stuff at the moment we're doing the bitches inside with the puppies whelping inside with the puppies and um, we're doing it in, um, in a puppy area and all that there but we want to get every everything out of the house get the house back to the, us and put the dogs in, in their own uh, housed area so I'll show you that container set up and I've got a container right next to the uh, cage area so that I can just uh, access the dog cages in and out with mum and whatnot. If I need to go and get mum, bring her in if she's not inside or anything like that there. But yeah, that's the idea of the um, container. I'll go over that there with you. Uh, what I have done recently is on just long on on all the cage setup I've got just tarp. I've, I've just got tarp that hangs down. So what it is is I've just got these rolled up at the moment I'll just let it go what it does it covers and encloses in the cage slip it behind the uh, put it behind there and that keeps it locked down so I've got one on each cage and it when they drop down it encloses it all in keeps them all dry keeps the wind out and all that there um, the sand rolls up as well and then daytime, I can roll them up and let the air flow, let the sun come in on the backside since it's winter at the moment. I get any bit of sun I can into those cages and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it. So as you can see on the inside, with it rolled down, and obviously next door, and next door, and next door rolled down as well. 
create an enclosed environment for the dogs. No wind, no rain coming in, sheltered and all that. So yeah, that's what I've just done with the um, sides of the cages at the moment and it's working really well. Uh, sheds is full of shampoos, dog food, leads and all that kind of stuff. All the stuff you might need, medical supplies and stuff like that there. So yeah, as you can see here's the container, that's going to be the big sliding doors I'm going to put in there. I've got the big doors access down this end as well, so that's what we'll, I'll be so like in and out to, if I need to access the kennels or anything, I'll put a gate through there or something like that there. I have converted this end at the moment, uh, my daughter's sleeping in there at the moment. It's all fully lined and all that, but obviously this is where you'd sleep while you're tending to the puppies overnight. I've got a walk-in wardrobe in there, and that's where the puppy whelping boxes will be set up, so you can have easy access to your puppies and stuff for doing the uh, two-hour feeds and stuff like that there with mum in, inside and shelter, warmth, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's the setup at the moment, still a lot of work to do. I want to come through and get all this dirt cleaned out. As you see, I've been raking it up and whatnot, just trying to get it all clean. As much as I can, get it all cleared out and um, cleaned up. I'm going to get some grass through the middle front stripper there. Eventually, I am going to roof out to here so that they've got a sheltered roof area out the front of their cages, also, just for hanging around in. May start a bit of rain and whatnot um yeah so that's about it conan big man what are you up to he's old stud boy it's a nice big boy giving us some beautiful puppies giving us some beautiful puppies with our beautiful bitches so yeah, it's going really well i've got all the washing machine set up over here for the dog blankets and stuff so this is where I wash all the dog stuff outside washing machine dog blankets get washed every other week sort of uh, every week sort of thing they're just small squares I'll actually go and show you what I've done with the blanketing in there tubs full of blankets spare blankets and all that there I actually got too much in there at the moment but all spare blankets ready to go for next one this is just all dog stuff in these sort of thing got to dry if I need to dry shit just for the dogs quickly, uh, more dog stuff all stored in there and whatnot. But yeah, so that's it. I'll quickly take you back into the cage and we'll have a quick look at what I'm doing with the bedding. Now obviously blankets, big thick blankets, your dogs pull them out all the time. They get, they start ripping them and doing stuff. So I've been sort of like trying to come up with how can I do some, because everything I do for the in the kennels, I like to do it so it keeps the maintenance down. It keeps the hygiene up and just makes it easy for when I come through and do my clean outs and my daily upkeeps and stuff on the kennels and stuff. I just, I'd just i rather an easy process rather than coming out and saying, oh, I've got to do this, got to do this, got to do this. And so what I've found happening with the bedding, they're pulling the bedding out all the time and making a mess of all the big blankets and you get these lovely big blankets or you get proper dog put cushion pillows and all and they just destroy them all the time. Uh, they get them wet. Um, God knows how they get them wet sometimes, but underneath their beddings and all that there and it, they hold a lot of dust and dirt and stuff in there and that's because of the environment I'm in at the moment. But so what I've found working for me is, I'll just pull the top of this kennel, uh, this cage. So what I've been doing is, I've cut out little squares of carpet, just a square. Put a little, um, that's a good clean up, um, put a little blanket underneath the carpet for a bit of, make it soft put the carpet on top and that's the bedding that's it and then I just give them a little square blanket that goes on top of there as you know the dogs love to move those blankets around dig them scratch on them and all that then if it's on top of the carpet 
It doesn't matter if they move the blanket over to the corner or bunch it up, they've still got a nice soft bedding, warm bedding, uh, the carpet, and obviously if you have your dog, you send your dogs inside, they love the carpets and stuff anyway. Um, you don't have to have big, huge, thick bedding all the time for them, I find, because it's it's hard to maintain them and, you know, the bedding and the washing and stuff. So this way, pretty much the carpet stays in there all the time. I'll pull the small blanket out. See, I can grab the five blankets in these five kennels, and they go straight into the washing machine, wash over the daytime, hang them up, and then they're ready to go straight back into the kennels. Um that night or afternoon or I just throw fresh ones in I've got plenty of them and out of one blanket you can cut them up to a couple of pieces and stuff and, and I just find it it's it's working really well big man you want to jump out of there or not there you go see it doesn't matter what they do with that blanket they can move it around scratch it around bunch it up they've always got a nice bedding underneath so yeah that's all I've done and I found that it's working well and whatnot yeah Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there for this video and um, hopefully it won't be too far in between the next video and keep you updated. Uh, I will be putting a video or two up about these puppies shortly, just to keep um, updated on where they are and how they're going. Beautiful puppies, three coloured puppies, bitches, all bitches, um, nice beautiful puppy, puppies. So yep, I'll give you some more details and keep you updated on them and, and on their progress as they are. Uh, grow up a little bit more they're only what like 13 days old at the moment so yeah all right guys this is crown top kennels signing off cheers youtube